Hi, I'm Phil. Welcome to Heidi Habitus. We're in the shed today, which stands for Seeking Harvest Evangelistically Deliberate. The idea that if we want to see people coming to know Jesus in their droves, then we need to be more deliberate. We need to do something different in order to get a different result because we're not seeing enough people come to faith. And that means being more bold and more intentional. Now, I wanted to share today a little statistical nugget that was shared uh, with us as a church by Roy Crown, the head of Hope Together in the UK. And he shared that there'd been some research in 2015 called Talking Jesus, which had been um, kind of run by Hope, but commissioned they commissioned a secular organisation to do it. And they asked thousands of non-Christians about uh, their experience of Christianity or beliefs about it and openness to the gospel. They found that one in five of the non-Christians that we will know as Christians are open to knowing more about Jesus and having an encounter or experience with him. One in five. That's really encouraging, isn't it? Um, but that has a practical implication. Roy Crown was sharing that actually we need to get into the mindset that we need to invite five in order to get one. So often we just invite one or we talk to one and if we don't get a response we get discouraged. But that's because we're not playing the odds, not playing the statistics on this. Then we need to invite five or speak to five in order to find the one receptive person or speak to ten to find two or speak to fifteen to find three. And actually need to cast the net a bit wider um, in order to, to get a greater fruitfulness in our evangelism. I found that very encouraging but also quite challenging because I know that I often focus on one or two and then easily get discouraged and that becomes reinforcing and uh, builds up my hang-ups about evangelism and, and my insecurity about it. Um, I met an evangelist once who said that the only reason he thought he was an evangelist was because uh, he just asked or spoke to more people about Jesus than other Christians. Um, he, he increased his odds of, of hitting the jackpot in terms of receptivity to the gospel because he spoke to more people. How about this week we take that principle um, into our minds as we seek to share the good message of Easter. It's Easter week this week as we seek to uh, share the good news of, of the God who came uh, in the form of Jesus, who lived amongst us but who died for our sins and who was, who was risen from the dead in order to give us life in all its fullness. That's good news. And one in five people on our street or in our family and friendship groups is open and receptive to that. So let's seek to seize the day on that one.